We have some big news for this weekend. We're now six days until our first fall cold front. I cannot wait. We're talking about 50s and 60s for the morning and 70s for the afternoon by Sunday. Alyssa is applauding in the background. We're so excited about it. We could use some rain. I'll get into that in a second. Not going to see a whole lot of rain with it, though, but at least we'll have pleasant weather. And actually this week already we have fairly pleasant weather. Temperatures only in the 80s right now. Our dew point not excessively high. And we've had a bit of a breeze for sure over the weekend and then into today. You can see the movement of that air. Our temperatures in the 80s plus that breeze from the east with gusts near 20 miles per hour in spots. That has brought our waters along our east facing shores, especially up a little bit. Very common for this to happen. As you know, if you live in these locations with those east winds that stay sustained and just kind of push the water up. So we have yet another coastal flood advisory, especially for tonight just for minor coastal flooding. So something we'll have to deal with maybe the next couple of days. Today we're looking for highs in the upper 80s. It will not be extremely humid. It will be warm. We'll stay warm all through the week with highs close to 90, if not uh, touching 90 by the end of the week in a few spots. You saw your temperatures there this afternoon. We should have a pleasant evening. I've been really enjoying the evenings lately. You can feel that slightly less muggy kind of feel but it will be much less muggy by this weekend. North Shore and South Shore lows 60s to 70s, and we are seeing now some cooler air in the western part of the U.S., still very mild to warm across a big section of the middle and eastern U.S. We have a big ridge of high pressure. This is partially what is bringing in these east winds that have been rather breezy over the past several days and also keeping us dry and keeping us warm. But we will fast forward into the end of this week. This is by Thursday evening. Here is a front getting an upper level push across the midsection of the US and then this is by Thursday evening and into Friday. Now models have been going back and forth. Sometimes they have a little scattered rain today. They do have a couple of showers and maybe a couple of storms. We could use more than this, but at least we have a chance Thursday night, especially and into Friday. And then here we go by Sunday again, mornings in the 50s and 60s Sunday and maybe Monday too and the afternoon only in the 70s. And of course, a big difference for us is the humidity when we get these fall cool fronts. And look at this Sunday and Monday. It drops way down. Models have even at times been showing dew points in the 30s or even 20s. We will see, but that would be really dry air and it stays very pleasant into Tuesday of next week as well. Here's the disappointing thing about this front. If there is anything, it's that we're not going to get a lot of rain. Models have been showing maybe a tenth of an inch. That's what the GFS has. We'll see if we are able to squeeze out a little bit more. But we know, of course, with our drought conditions, that we're not going to see a whole lot of relief probably this month in October. October, this is our average precipitation by month for New Orleans. And in October, that's our driest month typically. The average is just under four inches for the entire month. Of course, keep in mind our yearly total on average 63 inches. And we're set uh, at this point at about half of what we should have or what the average would be at this point in the year. So we need the rain, not really seeing it so much in the forecast for this week, although there is a chance. Tropical Storm Philippe is the only active storm in the Atlantic right now. It is going to brush by some of these extreme northern uh, islands in the Caribbean Sea and then move off to the north. And we do expect it to strengthen gradually, not a huge bump up in intensity, but it does look like it could be a category one hurricane late this week as it passes to the east of Bermuda. This year we've had 17 named storms plus the unnamed one from January. We've had six hurricanes and three major, but Philippe would bring this up to seven. And actually then we would have average numbers for an entire Atlantic season in both hurricanes and major hurricanes more than average or higher than average for the number of storms. And we know that uh, the National Hurricane Center has said that is partially just because we're able to detect them so much more easily. The energy, the ACE, accumulated cyclone energy, running about a third above average for this season. Seven day forecast shows the warm weather continuing, chances of rain at the end of the week, and then that beautiful forecast for the weekend.